All right, today I'm going to talk with Jane Harbour, and this is a sampling of her web page. Anyway, let me talk with you. Jane, uh, it's good to be here with you in Midland today, this beautiful spring day in uh, April of 2010. Can you tell me the name and title of your books? My latest book is entitled Here, Have a Miracle. Oh, that's cool. Can you tell me something about what it's about? Well, it's about biblical rest. It's a personal take. We are living in a world that's a hustle-bustle world, and you catch your backside coming in the door when you're headed back out the front, and this, <laughs> this is about biblical rest. Wow. Do you have any other books? Yes, I do. This, this was my third book, actually. My first book was called One Foot on a Banana Peel, and it was about overcoming grief and depression. My second book is called Duct Tape for the Christian Mouth, and it's a take on healing through the medium of communication. I have also written a book. Oh, actually, it's not a book. It's a workbook study. It's um, called Quit Digging, A Lifeline of Hope for Troubled Teens. It's a, a behavioral management program for troubled teens. Wow. Those are some pretty interesting titles. Um, duct tape and uh, what is a banana peel and here have a miracle. Where did you come up with all those? Well, I have to admit, the one foot on a banana peel was not my idea. It came from the idea of the publisher. And the duct tape for the Christian mouth also was the, not my idea. It was a, a friend who came up with that one. Here Have a Miracle is also one of the chapter titles, and I have to admit that was mine. <laughs> wow, that's pretty good. What are your strong points in your writing? I'm um, a very simple writer, and I write personally, personably and personally, and I try to reach you on um, any level. I don't believe that you have to be a rocket scientist to know God, and um, so my writing is very simple and direct. That's a good point. Do you have any um, memorable comments from any of your readers or any, um, uh, you know, responses? One in particular, well, I've had several along this line, but one uh, friend read One Foot on a Banana Peel, and she read the chapter on forgiveness, and she felt like it was written to her, for her. Mm -hmm. And that's what it's all about. That seems like it would be a very helpful chapter. I need that one a lot. Well, your books sound very interesting. Jane, can you tell us how to get a hold of you to get a copy of your books? Yes, I have two websites. The one that you saw at the beginning, which is um, gentlespringsofhope.org. And the other website is livinghope.takepublishing.net. You can find a lot of information on my books and on the events that I do, the speaking engagements and the uh, book signing events and that type of thing on the Living Hope website. Okay, so you do do uh, speaking events? Yes, I do. Okay, I teach good. seminars on the works that I do also. Uh, also, I would like to leave you with my email address, and that's J.E. Harbor, like my name is spelled, H-A-R-B as in boy, E-R, at cleansed.net, C-L-E-A-N-S-E-D.net. Well, I think anyone that gets a, a contact with you would be happy to, you know, read your books, and uh, they really do have a lot to offer. I've read some of them, and they are just really good reading and stuff that we all need to know. Thank so you. thank you, Jane. It's a pleasure talking with you today. Thank you for having me.